Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome back to the forest. So guys, it's been an update, we are now in version 0.50. Uh, because of the mega update that's going to come out on December the 14th, where we hopefully can save Timmy, uh, this is just a small update. It's mainly bug fixes and some balance tweaks, but I'll just go through a couple of them. So one of the main balance tweaks is that they've now reduced the chicory, aloe vera and the marigolds down to 10 each. Looking through the patch notes, that was only what really stood out to me as a change. But I think that might be a little bit low, so if we just eat this aloe vera... And I've got some here growing at full yield. So this is why I think it should be maybe more than 10, because if we take... How many is that? Uh, we'll just take a couple. Each one of these is only two. I thought it was maybe between two and three. So that is the maximum we can carry, guys. That is 10. And that's not even one flower bed. We still have two spare to die, I imagine. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think it should be more than 10? Maybe in line with blueberries to make it 30? I did used to only eat aloe vera to get my weight down. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. 10 might be a little bit too low, I think. But you can't just spam eating it, I guess. That's maybe the one reason why they changed it. Put some more back in there. I think I chucked a sneaky blueberry seed in there. Uh, what else? So there's one more change. So if you remember in the Flintlock Pistol episode, when we were searching for all the pieces, we went into a red container and found the shipping manifest. Uh, so when we took it, unfortunately, it wasn't added to our notes or our inventory or anywhere. But now it's supposedly added to our notes somewhere. Here it is. Can you click on it? No? I believe it says in the corner there, uh, Sahara Therapeutics. Whatever the hell that means. But we know that these are the people, or the company, that made the vault. Because I have the vault key card that says Sahara on it. So it'll be interesting to know on December the 14th how everything ties together. Man, I hope it's so good. They are taking a month on the next update, which is going to be the December the 14th update. So I have expectations for that. So I believe we have a swimming pool to build. I know it might seem strange building a swimming pool when I've got a big lake here, but I feel like I need some kind of feature. And I'm hoping this swimming pool will be it. Now, I have an idea how I can do it in my head, but whether it works in reality is a whole other thing. It all depends on how good this hole cutter is. It's always a good time building at night so you can see the blueprints better. Now, I have made this foundation quite low, so when we do remove something, it should be very close to the water. Is that even straight? Oh. Which way shall I do it? Lengthways, maybe. Is that...? Ah, oh, best do it to the end. Oh, so you can see it's a little bit off. That's about as good as we're going to get it. Right, so how big are we going to have this pool? It's kind of nice having a blank canvas like this, so... Why don't I do from here and then do one that side? And we can go from there. So, let's give enough space at the back so we can walk round. I don't know if this is going to be right. Okay. I've taken a chunk out of my foundation. And this is how big our swimming pool is, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like rating. Only kidding. We can do better than that. <laughs> I think. Let's continue going all the way down this... Oh, shit. We're going down this side. If we level it out. This cutting tool is a lot better than it used to be. It never used to cut where you thought it would. <laughs> well, we can go quite far back. I'm not utilising the full cutting tool. It means I don't have to do so many cuts. How big is this pool going to be? In fact, can we crouch so we don't have to keep going into the book? Looks like you can get a better view standing, but we'll try it. Can't really see it. Don't fall in the water. It's five this side. How many is it this side? Five and five! Perfect! Now oh, this is going to test the old hole cutter. Come on, buddy. I believe in you.
All right. Looking good. So I think we should add another row on each side. One here and one here. And that should be a decent sized swimming pool. What's it like? Should do a length. <laughs> Gotta keep myself fit. But I'm freezing my balls off though. I just have to leave just a little bit at the end. One more. Um, cutting tool. Cut. What's going on? Uh, is the maximum how much you can use a cutting tool on a foundation? That's okay. Oh, so close. I just want to do that a little bit. Wait. I do actually need some stairs going in, so maybe I could put the stairs going from there down. That is strange. Damn it. Anyway, let's make it daytime. I want to see what it's like, see how much blue comes through the water. In fact, better make use of these while they're still here. It's still 30 blueberries, right? I hope it is. 30, 28. There we go. That's it. Good stuff. What the hell was that? It sounded like a horse. Huh. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still going to be cold in the morning, so I might as well fast forward. Calm down. There you go, buddy. Get warm. I'm still on this snack and soda grind, trying to get my weight up a little bit. Uh, another day in the forest. Another day to build ourselves a swimming pool. Alright, let's give this one more try. Maybe a new day makes it work. I don't know. Ah, computer says no. Still works on the other foundation. That's strange, right? It's almost like the game don't want me to have a swimming pool. I don't think this is going to hurt us too much though. So we're going to have to create the bottom of our pool. This might be the hardest bit in lining this up. If I can line this up for the shape of the swimming pool, when I come to put the stone walls on top, I can just do the manual fill. I don't have to place it myself. Maybe like... Oh wait, I want it to be two walls high. What the hell is two walls high? Don't forget, yeah, you've got the bit that rises. I have no idea where the hell this is. How do you know where that is? Oh shit, for, yeah, breathe, buddy. Man, that is going right up to the bank there. And this can go to there. It's not really that straight. It needs to be a bit more towards what the hell's behind me. More forward. Oh! <gasps> Did this updated? One of the updated lists is not nearly drowned, is it? <laughs> so I think I did it. Should really put my rebreather on to do this. Actually, um, coming down here gets your athleticism up if you hold your breath. So I might as well get used to it. I've been working towards athleticism 12 for a long time. Well, that's straight. Doesn't seem to be in line though. It's too far. Too far still. That's good. Right. There we go. Just in time to save our guy, I think. 27 logs. I think that's a good depth. The goal is that hopefully when I place the stone walls on, it should be an automatic fill and it should go all the way around. 
we shall see. Right, what exactly ended the to-do list? Because I've got the rebreather, so it can't be that, can it? Find a way to stay underwater longer. That, that only came up because I nearly drowned. There you go. Happy? Breathing underwater. This is what you wanted. Oh, look at his arms. I'm, like, glowing. Okay, well, call me confused. <laughs> Let's have a look again. Find a way to stay underwater longer. That is it, the rebreather. Oh, well. Maybe I need to go and find it again. But, uh, 27 logs. No problem. So, let me just get rid of this. Oh. What the hell? That's only updated when I took it off. That doesn't make sense. Find a way to stay underwater longer. So I put the rebreather on, but it didn't tick it off. Only when I took the rebreather off did it tick it off the list. I don't know. Uh, so, let's get these logs in, shall we? Think I can get it over the water? What's that like? Hopefully I don't need to make a little platform. It will just go over it. Oh. That's good. That's going to be a beautiful colour pool. Uh, do you think I should just chuck the logs in? This might be a lot quicker. I did this when I was building this foundation in the water. That's it. Go in. Go on. There we go. And so that was only 11. I'll put this over here. Oops. Well done, bird. Don't know how you survived that one. That is awesome. Hopefully that's enough to stop the cannibals from going over. I don't know. Go in there. There we go. 27. Um, I'll put my rebreather on for this. Why not? Just take a snack. I'm really spoiling my guy with all these snacks. This is hungry work though. Oh, the sweet spot's right here. Come on. Oh, don't tell me it disappears when you have the log in your hand. Make sure we got two. Come work with me. Where is it gone? It's, it's, oh, it went in then. There, two in. It's weird. It seems the sweet spot does disappear when you have a log in your hand, though. It's much more difficult. The last two. Oh! Okay. I did it. That's the bottom! Oh, I like how you can just see it underneath. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And you can just see underneath. I wonder if you put some lights down there, will it shine up through? I don't know. This is the moment of truth. Let's just take that off. I'm going to place the rock wall down. Is it in line? So that's why I've made the foundation the same width and length as the swimming pool. 228 rocks. Is that too high though? I don't know. Could be close. Let's get these in. Let's do it. Come on. There we go. Right. Uh, how shall I do this? Got some stones over here. Might as well bring these over. This first set of stone walls isn't what's interesting. The interesting part is going to be what happens when I put the second set of stone walls on. 
I wonder if I can put them in from the top. Do I need to go in the water? Oh, what about ducking? Oh! Yes! Nice. What am I talking about? It's not going to be even. That will do. Man, I've been working through the night. Get some food. Double snacks. Some soda. Has it changed? No. Oh, hello! Athleticism 12. I bet that is from going in the water so much. Athleticism 12, guys. How many rocks can I hold? I can't remember. 10 on me, and hopefully there's 27 in here. I can't remember how many rocks the rock sled holds. We shall see. Uh, so I'll have to do this corner. Oh no, it's not, because I have 13. 13 rocks is always there. So... Could be 8 more somewhere. 4 more. Is that it? Alright. Moment of truth. Let's see what happens when we put the second layer of rock walls down. Oh! I've got like... Oh, it didn't go all the way around, but I've got a little bit of a rock trim going around the pool. Why is it dipping in the corner? Oh, oh wait, is, can this go all the way around? Come on. No way, <laughs> guys. It's not perfect, but I think I've just created my own rock trim for the swimming pool. Oh, it's a bit off there, that's going to annoy me. Shit. That's going to annoy the hell out of me. That is so close to being perfect. Right, wait there. Let me get rid of that. That was perfect, actually. That's where it starts to mess up. It starts to mess up from there. Let me see. I don't need this one, because this is where I'm going to be walking down. But that's good. I really want this stone trim guys going around. Right, I'm going to place this myself, hopefully. And push it a bit further back, if I can. Will I be able to? So, go far into the corner as I possibly can. From this corner, it's not that much really, it's just a little bit before where I think the stairs are going to go down. But push it back until it goes up, that's it. Right, let's see what that's like. Oh, that's much better. I mean, this rock trim. I don't know if this is skillful or I just got lucky, but I think it worked out. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to have this. I'm thinking of maybe putting a shark head at one end or something. It's like a little feature. Of course, we're going to make a roof and stuff in a later episode, but let me know if you have any decorations or stuff I should put around the pool, guys. If you have some good ideas, let me know in the comments. Now, let's get these rocks in. Probably might put some standing torches and stuff around. I think that would be quite nice. Maybe some skull lamps in the water too, because I want to see if they come through the water or not. I don't know if it's worth using the sleds, because my rock storage is so close. Going back and forth, carrying 10 in so bad. It may take about 19 trips, but it'll be worth it. Might as well keep warm too. Should be the last run. What you guys were saying is, why don't I put some log storages down? 
Maybe I could have the large ones going across here. And then maybe I could do some off camera. So I don't spend an episode just making large log holders. Where's the large log holder? Come on. There we go. I think I was going to do this earlier in the season, but I just didn't get around to it. Wait, is that perfect or what? Let's just see. Then you make it large. This will get down here okay. Oh, it might be blocking my windows. Don't know, let me know what you guys think. Do you think I should put loads of these going all the way across? Don't forget, these start 12. And I could probably get... Uh, probably about 10. That's like 120 logs. That is some good storage. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Should be the last ones, because I don't know where those 13 other rocks are. I like it all the way up to here. What I might do with a later episode is just get rid of these and then just make it come in a little bit just to clean it up. But I like how I can see the bottom. My pool's looking good. Shimmy can't make a stone foundation, but that's fine. Right, so now we need to do our entrance. So I can't really get out. It's a bit annoying always getting out like this. So to make it easier, we shall use the custom stairs. I seem to use the custom stairs for everything. It's a very versatile blueprint. I know with these you always have to go further back than you think before it allows you to place it down. Until the L comes up. Nope. No L there. Further back. Oh my god. So although we had a little problem with the whole cutter, I think we've overcome it. 12 logs, no problem. I am. Um, take one and then use it. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. That'd be winning. I could have just run these over. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Sweet spot, right? There we go. That's fine. You can't even see that lift, guys, that bit that was coming out. There's that one log go. Oh, did you go down the waterfall? Oh no. I think that's going to be some of the main building done for the pool. Now it's just cosmetic, I'm going to put some torches and stuff down, but... Oh, how easy is that? It's not necessarily getting in, it's the getting out I always have the problem with. Oh, I like it when things just work. 360 dive bomb! <laughs> oh man, Tim is going to have so much fun here, I can tell already. Okay, so to start off with, what I think we need is some standing fires, just on each corner. Like one there. I'll try and put some lights inside the pool as well. One there. Come on. There we go. That's okay. Nah, stick to the one in the corner. Hmm. Let's make these stones you need. Sticks and stones. I have some sticks on the raft. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Easy submarine raft. I got this one. a lot better. Let's try a bit of underwater lighting. Oh, if this works, this would be amazing. I don't know what I'll do if light rays shine through the swimming pool. Oh, lad. I'm so good. Oh, man, that does go under there, doesn't it? I think it might only go under this one because it sticks out a little bit. Damn. I don't think I'm going to be able to get under the rest. Let's see. Can't see the end. Can I get my lighter out? <laughs> Can't even see the back bit, never mind trying to get it symmetrical. There we go. Right. I'll see what that's like. I need skulls and rope. That's not a problem. Uh, skulls I have at my catapult. We'll take the little raft to go over there. There we go. No, no, no! We have talked about this! You are not a submarine! You... I give up. I prefer it when you was a magic carpet at least. Where's the... Oh, I can usually flip this. I hate this rough sometimes. Oh no, my ra... Oh no, wait. Oh, got it. How many times do I have to save you? I don't know how one man can eat this many snacks. My God, he's an animal. An absolute animal. One day, Mr. Raft, we will sit down and talk about the identity crisis you're going through. If you want to be a submarine, you can be a submarine. But you have to give up being a raft. It's not really coming through the water. I can hardly see him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this is the light, because they are candles, right? In the skull's eyes. I don't know, the little flicker does make it kind of nice. I think that's the best you can get it. Oh, this is a good test. Can you get over here, buddy? I don't think they could go in the water anymore. I oh, know you can't get in my pool at least. No? So I'm safe just from that little bit of water. I know they can leap in. Can I go in my pool? Well, the offer was there, but I can't have you running around my base. Where's your friend? Oh, there anyway. I don't know how you're on fire because you're in the water. Stop, drop, and roll, buddy. Oh, never mind. Right. Oh. Cool. Right, let's make it daytime. So, what I'm hoping to do in the future, guys, is maybe put a, a platform a bit higher with a tree bridge going out to a gazebo here. I mentioned it in the last episode. You guys seem to really like the waterfall gazebo idea. I think it will finish off this little tranquil swimming pool section. I think it could be pretty good. Make it daytime. Get my sanity up, because I imagine I lost a bit of sanity then. I'm definitely going to have to go back to the crocodile village and get all the sodas and the snacks again. Jesus Christ, man. An absolute tank. He just puts these away without putting on their weight. 
tell me the secret. <laughs> so you can still see the lights through the day. That's pretty good. Morning swim. <laughs> I have my own swimming pool. This is the life. So do let me know what you think of the swimming pool, guys. Uh, did it turn out better than you thought it would? Well, let me know in the comments. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like or support this series. And if you got this far in the video, put dive bomb in the comments. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.